okay hello guys this is ajay today's video is about how to download intelli intellij idea id okay so first of all open any browser that you are using so i am using chrome browser so that that's why i have opened this and in the new tab just type intelli just type intellij Just sorry. Just type idea IntelliJ. Okay. Just type idea IntelliJ and hit enter. Okay. So that will take you to this page. And just simply click on this link. Click on this first link, and then click on this download download button, and then. Click on this community edition. Once again, see this. You need to hit click community edition, community edition download button. And one more thing, if you are using Windows, just click on it. Will by default will be in the Windows folder and click enter. Click on downloads button. If you are using Mac, then simply click on this Mac and click download. Okay. Okay. my my laptop is windows so i am using this and i just click download and now click okay it will automatically gets started downloading so it might take a while please wait for a let me pause let me pause the video i'll pause the video and i'll uh, once again play the video when the record when the download has been completed okay okay guys as you can see the download has been completed so let me go to the folder so click on show in folder yeah it will directly take you to the downloads folder and here is the file So simply right click on this file then click on this idea ideal c file and just click run as administration okay run as administrator just click on it and it will ask you admin permissions just click on s after clicking on s it will take it you will get a pop up icon like this just simply click on next and next and just check every box okay check every box check all boxes after checking all the boxes click next and just simply click install so the install will will get started so i'll pause the video for a while and uh, i will get back to you when the process has been completed okay okay guys after the installation completed you will get this option so completing intel ig community edition so just click on like i want to reboot as like just click on i want to manually reboot later okay just click on i want to manually reboot later and then and then just click finish okay after that like after that in the desktop you will get this intel ig intellij idea community edition or else you can simply click here type here to search and you can simply type intel intel if you just type intel double l you will get this intellij idea you can simply click on this you just click this check box and then continue yeah you can 
you can click don't send okay after coming to this end simply click plugins click plugins you will you will find it in the left side of your desktop plugins here it is and type python type python and this is the python ultimate version so simply click on it please give me a minute guys okay guys so after typing python here so you will get python community edition python community edition just click install okay just click install the installation will get started please wait till it gets installed so i'll get back to you once it is installed okay so here the process has been started okay okay guys installation has been completed you can see here it is get it got installed so you can simply click on this install icon so that's it guys the installation has been completed as you can see if, if i type one second here it is it's already installed in your computer okay see it is showing installed okay that's it guys so let me go to the projects let me create new project yeah or else okay let's do one thing you just simply create a new folder in your desktop okay just click new and folder and keep the name of the folder as python just python okay keep the name of the folder as python and just open this python and here just right click on this right click on this folder and just click show more options here you will get open folder as intellij idea community edition project okay click on this and then you will get this type of icon simply click trust project check this check this box and then click trust project okay so it will take you to the intellij Okay. Now simply create new file. Okay. Here, click on new. Click on new and just just right click on this side panel. Right click on this. Keep it on new. And then you can find a Python file here. Okay, Python file. just click on it and keep the name of the file as hello keep the name of the file as hello dot py keep keep the name of the file as hello dot py and hit enter okay keep the name of the file as hello dot py and hit enter okay let me first okay that's it just type here print print hello okay well now as you can see it is asking me no python interpreter figured for the module just i am clicking configure python interpreter so whenever you try to type something it will give you this type of message configure python interpreter click on it 
you can configure python interpreter and here just click on this language level sorry not the language sorry click on this no sdk okay click on this sdk option click on this sdk option and you will get at the bottom you will get whatever the python that you have installed so i hope when you came to see this video you have already downloaded the python 3.10.9 version okay so whatever the version that you have downloaded you will get this here so just click on this okay i am showing once it once again click on sdk and then click on this one okay c c slash program file slash python that thing okay and then click apply and okay okay so in this way you can always okay in this way you can always uh, do this interpreter whenever it asks and then you need to type print brackets open the double quotes and hello okay just print in open brackets inside the thing hello and then just click on this run python right run file okay click on this run so as you can see the hello got printed okay after clicking on this play button here you have got hello you can see here hello got printed so which means python is successfully installed and like intellij is also got installed perfectly and you are getting the output which means you can able to run the python file here okay okay guys that's it for today's video so i'm concluding this video once again so what i did is i have downloaded the intellij and i have created a sir i have downloaded python plugin in this uh, id and then i just configure the configure the interpreter with the downloaded version that with the previous downloaded version python 3.10.9 okay after that i have I'm, i have just uh, typed the print hello and then hit play button so it will in the bottom you will get this hello printed okay okay guys that's it guys